Hello everyone. Today we shall look into the as trim mechanisms made easy just for you. To know this, first we shall look into what is organs of speech. The air that flows out of your mouth is modified into speech sound by the action of certain organs of your body. Okay, so that is referred to as organs of speech. Okay. Now we shall look into the respiratory mechanism. The respiratory system consists of lungs, muscles of chest, and windpipe. This windpipe is also called as trachea. Okay. Now the lungs are the spongy bodies and they are ma made up of small sacs called alveoli. Okay. It is in these sacs that the blood is cleansed of its carbon dioxide and provides with fresh oxygen. from the outer air this is clear right this is the basic thing that we would have uh, known in our science classes so air is supplied to the alveoli by the smaller tubes called bronchioles the bronchioles come together into two large tubes called bronchi so what are they one is situated in the right and the other is in the left what are they they are bronchi okay the the bronchi join the trachea trachea is also known as windpipe okay so it is through the trachea that the air that we breathe in passes through the throat and then into the lungs okay so this act is commonly known as respiration okay and this respiration involves two what are they inspiration and expiration okay So first we shall see what is inspiration. Inspiration is the act of taking outer air into the lungs. Okay, so this process is inspiration. Then what is expiration? Throwing out air from the lungs into the outer atmosphere is expiration. Okay, and because of this expiratory lung air that is the air that we breathe out that is the basis for the articulation of most speech sounds for this reason the air stream involves lung air okay so that is called pulmonic air stream mechanism okay and this pulmonic air stream mechanism that which means like the air stream what i say is produced by the air stream mechanism okay what is the air stream mechanism there are three an air stream mechanism like it it is uh, divided into three okay they are called pulmonic glottic and velaric air stream mechanisms okay so these are called like uh, since a very large percentage of speech sounds in all the languages that are spoken in the world use pulmonic air stream mechanism okay most of the languages will use this pulmonic air stream mechanism so first we shall look into this pulmonic air stream mechanism okay okay so the pulmonic air stream mechanism consists of lungs and the respiratory muscles okay like each mechanism each pulmonic group or each air stream group will consist of certain organs okay so this uh, uh, pulmonic air stream uh, mechanism consists of lungs and the respiratory muscles so the walls of the lungs are the initiators like they act as the initiator they are moved by the respiratory muscles so that the air is drawn into the lungs or pushed out of them okay so when the air stream mechanism is used to push air out it is called as egressive and when it is used to draw air in it is ingressive okay like inspiration and expiration itself here also there are two pulmonic egressive air stream mechanism and pulmonic ingressive air stream mechanism pulmonic egressive air stream mechanism what it will do it will uh, push the air out okay whereas uh, when if the air is been pushed in it is ingressive okay so mo as i said earlier most speech sounds make use of pulmonic egressive air stream mechanism in fact all sounds of english and most indian languages except sindhi why sindhi is an exception because uh, it will use some other air stream mechanism which will be discussed in the further slides okay we shall see what air stream mechanism it uses 
also all the indian languages are produced with this pulmonic aggressive aspirin mechanism it is possible to speak using pulmonic aggressive aspirin mechanism but no languages uses this aspirin mechanism so this is not been considered so important whereas uh, when pulmonic aggressive aspirin mechanism has been spoken by most of the languages then why should you worry about this okay uh, so uh, it is like uh, pulmonic aggressive aspirin mechanism then why it is used it is used for yawning and snoring okay so the role of pulmonic aggressive is yawning and snoring okay note these uh, like uh, what are the uses of these particular aspirin mechanism they are very much important in your examination point of view next we shall look into the glottic aspirin mechanism uh, the closed glottis will act as initiator here and the air and the air in the pharynx okay uh, like a closed glottis and air in the pharynx or the parts in glottic aspirin mechanism and so for this reason why the air in the pharynx is also important right that is why it is also known as pharyngeal aspirin mechanism glottic aspirin mechanism is also known as pharyngeal aspirin mechanism both here also there is glottic aggressive aspirin mechanism and glottic ingressive aspirin mechanism so the both aggressive and uh, ingressive glottic aspirin mechanism are used by some languages of the world for the articulation of speech sounds among indian languages if we see sindhi is using uh, this uh, kind of aspirin mechanism i told you in the before slide right this uh, sindhi is using some other aspirin mechanism so sindhi it uses glottic ingressive aspirin mechanism so this sound is also known as implosives okay what are they implosives so finally the third aspirin mechanism is velaric aspirin mechanism here what are the parts back of the tongue is the initiator and the air in the mouth okay so these are the two things that should be noted in velaric aspirin mechanism so this is also known as oral aspirin mechanism why it is because it uses are in the mouth i have told you that uh, a pharyngeal or glottic is why because uh, it uses air in the pharynx so it is known as pharynx uh, pharyngeal or glottic so here it uses air in the mouth so it is also known as uh, oral aspirin mechanism instead of velaric aspirin mechanism it is also known as oral aspirin mechanism okay uh, so sounds produced with ha again i told you right there is also velaric aggressive aspirin mechanism and velaric aggressive aspirin mechanism so sounds produced with velaric aggressive mechanism exist where they exist they exist in several african languages okay sounds produced with velaric aggressive aspirin mechanism doesn't seem to exist in more any language like uh, you know you can't see so many languages to be spoken with this kind of mechanism okay so this velaric ingressive has been used in african languages okay note this what uh, what country or what nation is using this particular aspirin mechanism okay this is also important in the examination point of view so finally as usual to boost your memory we shall see some mcqs uh, so first question Sindhi uses what kind of aspirin mechanism? I told you like you have to keep uh, important uh, you know underlines to this particular point. Okay, so what are they? Option A, pulmonic aggressive. Option B, velaric. Option C, glottic aggressive. Option D, glottic aggressive. Hope so. Guessed it right. Okay, what is the answer? It is. glottic ingressive aspirin mechanism okay this is uh, the only aspirin mechanism that uses you know uh, it produces uh, sindhi language sounds okay thank you